Season is three times worse than this time last year, going from bad to worse all across the country. The outbreak now widespread, hitting 46 states, including Georgia. Jennifer Bellamy is live outside Children's Health Care of Atlanta. Jennifer, children are especially vulnerable here. That's exactly right, Sheba. They always have been vulnerable to the flu, but we're seeing an uptick with them. In fact, Choa says between the third week of December and the first week of January, they've seen about an average, that average more than double from 12% to 28%. And that's among people at uh, Choa locations looking at children who came with flu-like symptoms and later tested positive. Now, according to the State Department of Public Health, the common flu strain that we're seeing of influenza A is H3N2, and that one is a especially rough for children, folks older than 65, and those who have other medical issues. So it's becoming more and more important for parents to get professional medical help when they see certain systems, uh, symptoms escalate beyond the normal runny nose, sore throat, headaches, fever, chill, and fatigue. So CHO will release this chart to help you know when it's time to go to the doctor. When you start seeing things like neck stiffness, labored breathing, severe muscle pain, red urine, that's when you know it is certainly time to get your child to the doctor for some medical attention for the these flu symptoms. Uh, if you didn't have a time to get through and look at that full chart, we've posted it on my Twitter page, Shea Bellamy TV, to give you a better look at those symptoms that require you to go to the doctor. That's certainly helpful this morning, Jennifer. Thank you.